Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, I'm thrilled uh, to have my wife join us as a co-host for the Table Talk. Uh, this is the fourth episode. Today, the subject will be the sag aftra strike. That's the Hollywood uh, actor strike and uh, producer strike uh, uh, in, in Los Angeles. Uh, would you like to give some details about that? The sag aftra National Board met today in a video conference meeting and approved the tentative agreement for the 2023 TV theatrical contracts reached with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers on November 8, 2023. With the board's approval, the deal now goes to the union's membership for ratification. The board approved the tentative agreement by a majority of 86% to 14% and recommended a vote of yes to ratify the contract. Thanks. So what was your thoughts on the it, the strike being over? Or are you happy about it? Or? I think it's great so that they can start back with the filming of the TV shows and movies and get everyone, you know, in Hollywood back to work. Yeah. I, th I did uh, hear that they were only going to be able to probably produce uh, about half the season. Those... those uh, television shows that were already in the pipeline uh, as far as kind of uh, being produced probably will be you know able to have a, a, a more complete season the ones that uh, uh, you know have a lot of uh, special effects and things like that probably would be pushed into the 2025 uh, season so that's unfortunately so what we'll do is uh, we'll take it to the video and... It's the moment actors learn their 118 day long strike is over. This morning, we were with the Actors Union strike captains as they were still celebrating at breakfast. I woke up going, I can't believe it. You know, um, I am so thrilled. We fought for and won a historic contract, and AI is not going to take our jobs. Deborah spoke to SAG after President Fran Drescher today about the historic deal. In a nutshell, what does this new agreement provide to the Actors Union? Well, it adds a lot more money. We opened up a new stream of revenue for those people that are on the streaming platform. And that was a very big deal. Equally importantly, you got protections on AI. Everything requires the consent of the SAG-AFTRA member. That is major. She also shared her secret weapon during negotiations. There he is. What's his name and what's his purpose? Love. Without any regret or apologies, I would take this little guy out and I would sit him on the table right opposite Bob Iger. I turned it into a woman and girls movement to lead with empathy, dignity, intellect, to be you. With the strike finally over, today, everyone wants to know how soon will their favorite TV shows return? Variety's Michael Schneider. The second the strike ended, they could hit the ground running, and that's exactly what's going to be. Uh, studio space has been rented out. Talent is on hold. He says some shows will return as soon as January. The first shows you'll see are the traditional broadcast shows. So NCIS, the shows that you normally expect to see, 22 episodes a season, they'll be able to salvage half of those seasons this year. I was determined to redefine SAG-AFTRA as not only the largest entertainment union in the world, but the most powerful. And now that we have forged the biggest deal in industry history, which broke pattern, established new revenue streams, and passed a historic $1 billion plus dollar deal with the most progressive AI protections ever written. I feel pretty confident in saying this is a paradigm shift of seismic proportions. I am so proud of the TV Theatrical Negotiating Committee and so thrilled to have partnered with Duncan Crabtree Ireland, said sag President Fran Drescher. Onward and upwards. 
So yeah, uh, so this is a big deal. Uh, it's estimated that there was about a five billion dollar hit to the economy in Los Angeles as a result of this strike. So it, I'm sure, uh, you know, recently the Writers uh, Guild uh, completed their contract uh, negoti negotiations, and uh, so they're they're back in work. So now we've got the actors. Uh, back to work and so yeah I think that's a great thing so I'm ready to start the process of watching sitting my butt on the uh, couch and watching some new shows so um, what else do you think I think that I heard them say that the nighttime shows would resume immediately like the Jimmy Kimmel's and the oh, okay. Jimmy Fallon and you know those shows Stephen Colbert, yeah, they would start with them. oh the night show, the, the new, nightly talk yeah. shows. They would oh, start okay. with the new shows immediately, um, and I mean I think it's great that it's over because it not only affected the actors and the filming of the shows, but all of the businesses that are in the area around there. You know, restaurants and shops or any of the businesses nearby that people use yeah if they're not there at the studios then they're not going to these restaurants for lunch or these businesses so it helps everything yeah they they were really struggling because they they had to bunch up and you know together as roommates and they were really affected living uh, like paycheck to paycheck with no savings. Right. So, so this is a big deal uh, to them. So I'm, 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 I'm glad that they've got this done. All right. Well, uh, as you can tell, uh, we have are in our brand new table talk studio. What do you think about the studio? Yeah, uh, yeah. I like you worked it. hard on it. I like it. Hope everyone else does. Yeah. So we, we tried to make it more, I thought it would be like early American and, and real, you know, real colorful. I, I had looked at uh, Joe Rogan's uh, <clears throat> pod, podcast studio and I kind of gained ins inspiration uh, from that. And so, yeah, I thought this looked good. Uh, so, yeah, I'm real yeah. pleased. I like it. So, as I said, I'm hoping that my wife would continue to join as a co-host. And she's not normally used to doing podcasts, neither am I. But uh, I think she'll warm up to it. It's, it's really more just free talking and just kind of saying what's on your mind and, and things. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I may visit again, period, you know, pop in periodically but don't plan on being a regular well if you want her to be a regular please leave your comments into the comment section below uh hope you would because i'd love to have her uh, join us mm -hmm. uh, and stuff well i think uh that's all i have today uh wanted to just cover the sagaftra strike again uh the uh, contract negotiations were successful. They've completed and approved the contract, and now uh, it needs to go out for ratification. Uh, the board approved it, 86% to 14%. So yeah, everything's uh, good. So I'm looking forward to season of television production to start, and it, it'll make Los Angeles much more lively livelier <laughs> and I th happier. I think they said this is the largest contract change in 40 years. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Thank you for the coffee, B. Mm -hmm. Well, have a great morning and wet rest of your weekend. Take care. See you next week, Saturday at 10 o'clock. I see what is good.
to be 